Hello. Today I have this laptop again. This is a HP 15-BS158SA, otherwise known as TPN C129. I had this laptop in for an LCD replacement and I spoke to the customer about making the computer faster. So we decided to replace the hard drive with a solid state drive. I'm just going to turn it off. You can hear the drive click when you turn it off as well. So I suspect that not only is it a slow drive, I think it might have been a failing drive as well. Now, this laptop probably has hidden screws under here. I don't know about under there. I'll have to check. I might start by checking there. Yep, screw there. Probably only there. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna check under these two rubber feet to see if there are also screws under there. There are. So there's a screw under this corner. Just gonna check here as well. Nope. So then under this corner there will be a screw as well. So now I should be able to separate this bottom shell from the top plate right in here. Sometimes they come quite easily. I think this one's probably going to. So let's see if I can get a tool to start the process. going to open the lid. This has popped hinges so when you open the, lid, the lid the hinges are popping the, the edge open so I can actually get that open quite easily. There is a bit of missing plastic here. I think this computer has been opened before so I need to be mindful of that that I don't make this any worse but it's coming up quite easily so there aren't many clips holding this in. Those clips just released, that's good. Might get one of my plastic picks here and just go. Yeah, nice. On this side, I'm gonna be careful. There's a USB port and, and there's an area where the plastic isn't very, there's not a lot of plastic there to work with. And so I don't wanna crack that. So I'm just gonna go very gently at this spot. Stick this in here to hold my place. Sometimes just pushing it toward toward the middle releases the the clips. So that side's released all the way around the back. And so is that side. So now it should come out, should come off pretty easily. So now it's just coming loose. Brilliant. That was easy. All right. This computer has four gigs of RAM and a mechanical one terabyte hard drive. It has a vacant memory slot, so I could pop a four gigabyte memory chip in there. The owner doesn't want to invest a lot of money in this, and so uh, isn't going to go for that, which is a, a shame because it's an easy performance increase, but um, I I feel like just upgrading, just replacing this mechanical hard drive with a solid state drive will probably be enough. Uh, so we'll find out. So let's go ahead and take this out. So it's a one terabyte Western Digital mechanical hard drive. And there's just a little bracket on the end. I'm going to take off. And we'll pop this into my cradle, but I'm not going to turn that on yet. 
We've got a uh, Samsung 860 QVO. One terabyte. Okay, I'll turn on the disk cradle that has the customer drive in here, and now we can see we have two one terabyte drives. One is the customer's disk, which is 82% used, and then the other is the empty Samsung QVO. So we'll copy disk six to disk seven, and we'll copy without resizing. So the end result will look like these two identical disks, and we'll just apply that. I'm going to look at these hinges while I wait. I'm going to blow this out. Uh, maybe I'll grab the Hoover quick. And I'll bring this into the back room and blow it out with some air. I'm going to take this fan out. You can see that's plugged in there. There seems to be, I don't know if that's a missing screw. Oh, interesting. So there's a, there's a little boss that pushes down. I think that must hold that fan in place. So it's not actually a screw hole. I mean, it is a screw hole, but there's no screw there. But that's okay. And the other screw that's holding this fan in is hidden under here. I'd like to avoid disconnecting the video cable. So that's the charger. And then the video cable is here. I'm just going to get some slack in there so that I can move these about. It's one thing about these hinges is if they go they can take other things out with them. Uh, I just, I want to avoid unplugging everything, but I think I can't. So I'm going to disconnect these antenna wires, the power cable here. I'm going to get that up and out of the way. There, now we've got some slack in that. Really, I just want to get it out of the way of that screw so I can take this fan out. So there's a heat sink here that's blocking this wire. All right, we've got these loose. All right now, let's look at this hinge and see how it looks. So this screw is quite loose. It's actually not uh, not coming out because whatever it's screwed into on in the bottom is broken. Yeah, and I can see that if I look around the side here, you can see there's some broken plastic in there. So let's try to get this out again. Yeah, so that screw is completely ripped out. So this, there's a metal screw insert that the screw is screwed into. That's turning with the screw. And there's some plastic bits that have broken out of the bottom case. Can't quite get them with this tweezers. So there's some of the broken plastic. I need my needle nose pliers in order to stop that from turning. Hmm. This is going to be a tricky one. Maybe I'll wait until this hinge is open, then that'll be easier. So let's go back up. So this screw is tight. Although it's not coming out. That's a bad sign. It means whatever it's screwed into on the other side is. Just happy to let it spin. Okay. 
Can we just flip the hinge open as is? Yes. So both of these screws were completely broken out. Yep. Ah, oh, not good. So there's one of the two plastic screw bosses, and there's the bit that's broken off. It was meant to be holding this metal insert in place. And here's the other one. It, it was meant to be holding this metal insert in place. Oh, so there are three things broken here, actually, because there's a metal insert still on this screw. So these two screws have metal inserts attached to them that just spin, but they should be embedded in plastic down here. Uh, one of these, this here, uh, I'm not sure where it goes. Oh God, this is not good. This is going to be a bit more complicated than I originally expected. Uh, also, in part, because we have some electronics here that is probably the power button from the other side. You know, if you imagine the keyboard, when you open it up, the power button is up near, up in the top left by the hinge. That's what that is. So I need to try to rebuild this area in a way that's not going to prevent that power switch from being accessible in the future. Also, this charging port. This is not good. This is going to be very difficult. So that is definitely where that goes. I'm just not sure about this other piece, either of these other two pieces. Wow, that's deep. If that's where that goes, so there's some plastic missing. This then goes like this, I think. But that's a bit higher than the others. There's still a screw in here. I feel like that, oh no, it can be right because it's higher up on here. This is, this part here is lower down than its neighboring screw. So I think this bit of plastic here can be prouder than the rest. Stand up higher than the rest. Still doesn't quite look right though. Kind of feel like a dentist prying away at the, the bad parts so that the good part will fit in. Putting in a filling or a crown or something. I just feel like that's too high. That's really the only place that that could fit fit. Ah, maybe it's not too high. So I'm going to start by gluing that in. This is also broken. I can see the broken plastic right there, but it's all still intact. I need to get some supplies. Okay, okay. for this repair I'm going to use, this is baking soda or bicarbonate of soda as they call it here and super glue it needs to be the actual liquid super glue it can't be the gel and the combination of the two is going to form a bit of a, a, a resin so I'm going to try to get some better light all right here we go I've got a paper towel here handy then I'm going to try to get some super glue onto this. I maybe want to. And also onto this one. Just onto the lip. 
Well, I can see that it's broken. Disaster. Yeah, I think that's actually in a good place. Just need to make sure there's no glue on my tweezers. So I'm going to put a little baking soda in here to try to start this process of building up this side. There's a big drop of glue on the end of my applicator that I didn't really want to get into the threads. There. I think that's a good start actually. Unfortunately a little bit of that got into the threads. I'm not sure about the height of that one. It does still feel high. Maybe I'll just do this here. Get it in the bottom of that hole. I'm going to flip this hinge over so I can see how things line up with these two. Get those things out of my way here. Okay, so I can see it looks like these screws line up. This one does not, but it would if it was up against that plastic boss that's in there. So let's open this up again. So this does kind of need to be here. I'm going to try to glue that in place and then build up some resin around it. It's a bubble. Lots of air bubbles coming out of here. And there was some liquid. There we go. Now let's put some more baking soda. I think this is going to work. Those, I need to get something into this side here. But I want to keep it off of this circuit board. Yep. 
I feel like that's not too bad. I'm going to blow this off. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so that's what this looks like. I think that looks alright. I mean, you know, obviously it's broken. It needs... The, the, the best solution would be to replace the whole top case, but short of that, I mean, that feels solid. That feels solid. These are all in there and encased in plastic resin. So I'm going to move on to the other side. Um, I'm going to leave this open for now because I don't want to stress my repair. I'm going to pop the power connector back in place. Everything else I'm going to leave open. Now I just need to clear space on my desk so I can slide the laptop over to the other side. So bear with me a moment. Okay. So we have a hinge with three screws. That screw is completely loose. That screw feels tight. That screw feels tight. I'm going to take this one out first. It's the shortest one. It's going to have the shortest threads. That's not biting anything. The, the metal insert is spinning. And the same is going to be true for that one. So the only thing holding this side was that screw there. And possibly the one of the bottom case screws that goes through. Now, how can I get this open? That doesn't quite feel right. I'm going to have to get this camera out of my way briefly. So I can see right, right away, I can see there is a problem. I can see bits of plastic. So there's part of the uh, plastic screw boss that's broken away. What else do we have in here that I can grab? Nothing really. Okay. Thank you. There. Okay, so this is a bit of plastic gone from there. Ooh, so that was still in place, but broken. Oh, stay with me. No, it's broken. Okay. I was hoping that I'd be able to just put that back in place as it was. But that will not be the case today. I'm going to have to glue it all back. And then this one sits there and it had some plastic around it that's broken. Possibly from there, I think. From there, yeah. That's what it looks like to me. All right. <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed that this one came out the way it did because I could have maybe just glued it in place like that, but hmm, probably not. I wouldn't have known where it goes anyway. And then it attaches to this somehow. Yeah, it's just all broken. Busted stuff. That looks like it goes like that. Let's start with this one.
I just had a terrible thought. What if this is getting through to the other side? I'm going to put some post-its through there and test it. And hopefully there will be nothing there. Okay, I don't see anything. That's good. So I'm going to put two post-its. Okay, I feel like if I do any more, uh, it's not going to want to close. You know, I think there are some spots in here that are probably too high. Uh, you know, I think this edge of the hinge has to come down through here, so I'm going to have to cut away at some of that, probably. But, and then this comes down over that. But I think that's okay. And this might be a little bit high, but actually I think it's all right. So we shall see. I'm going to start putting this back together. I'm going to take this into the back and blow. Maybe I'll let that cure for another couple minutes before I blow it out. So I'll be back in a moment. We're still copying data. All right, I'm just gonna bring this into the back and blow it up. All right. Now, hopefully this hinge closes. If it doesn't, we'll need to make some adjustments probably in here. But let's just see how we line up. Okay, things are lined up, but it's catching along this edge here. I'll go back in. And I feel like it needs to come all the way back to here. This resin is quite hard, anyway. That's good. This is where I wish I had a Dremel tool. That's going to be next on my list of tools to buy. That's well, pretty close. I can see the two little guide pins sticking up. Um, it's still catching a little bit. And it might be, yeah, I think it's just around that edge. Boy, that's very nearly closed. It's so close. Just want to make sure everything else is flush on the top here. There's a bit here that might be a little st sticking up a little bit high. Careful, this is a sharp blade. Um, yeah, it should be good. So it needs to sit down flush on there. There we go. Okay. Nice. I think that'll do. I think that's good. Let's see if the screws go back in properly. I'm 
get my camera up and out of the way a little bit. Mm, I'm a little off from where the other screws are. Let me just loosen this just a little bit and see if we can adjust that alignment a little. <clears throat> I feel like it's not quite lining up. So close. Nope. That's going to cross thread. There it goes. No, I think I just broke it out. Yeah, I just broke it out of the, the resin. Which is fine, because it needs to come over to the left a little bit. So it was my own fault. It's a bit cross-threaded. I wonder if I've damaged these threads now. So I have other... Yeah. Let me get another set of parts. <laughs> now I wonder, is it the screw or the insert that is damaged? So this is the original screw with the new insert. No. Nope. We'll try a new screw. So there's new screw, new insert, new screw, old insert. No, both insert and screw are damaged. Right, so that insert needs to be slightly further left from where it was earlier. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to build up some more resin on the back of this because it's not very well, it's, it's just not very fortified on this back side here. No, just came loose. This ain't working. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Okay. So I need to let this set for longer before I try to test the threads. But I think this is going to be good. We're still copying data, 63%. This is taking so long to copy the data. I'll be back.
Okay, I'm gonna blow this out again because I think this is gonna hold this time. All right. Okay. Looking good. My man. So when I wasn't recording, I threaded a screw into this metal insert just to be sure that there was no super glue or anything blocking it. And I was able to get the screw bottomed out. So I just started it. I'm, it's not super tight. I'm going to get the other screws in. Just going to do this by hand. And then this last one. I don't have a lot of confidence in this hinge. I mean, it'll be better than it was, definitely. But, uh, oh, it's not quite down far enough. Okay, I've got some resin to scrape off because the hinge doesn't close enough for this um, broad and uh, shallow screw. Right, so what's hitting? Could be this. Okay, let's see if that goes. Looks better. Yep. Okay. But now, how does our problematic screw go? Not quite. Just gonna loosen this a smidge. Let's see if this will start now. It's cross-threaded. It wants to cross-thread because it's not straight. There. I never did close this hinge either to see how we fit, but it looks like everything should should be fine. Let's see. Something's a little too high. There's just a little resin on top of the uh, metal insert. Just need to scrape that off so the hinge will lay flat. There. Just seems like it's a little bit high. Let's see. So we've got one, two, three screws that can go in before the lid is closed, before the lid is on. That goes, and that goes, and that goes. Now let's make sure we can get the fan back in. Um, oh, so does that fan go below the hinge or above the hinge? It's above the hinge. Right? Yeah. Wi-Fi antenna wires connected. Um, still 81% on the data, but let me just see if this fits. I feel like that's not going to fit here because of that screw. But actually, I think it does. Try to work that screw in a little bit more. So close. All right. Right, these hinges are as good as they're gonna get. I'm 
let me just make sure I didn't block any chassis screws. So that's there and that's there. No, that's fine. It's all good. Just waiting for the data now. 83%. It's taking a very, very long time. All right. Let us see if this is going to work. So the SSD goes in like this, and so the bracket will go on like this. All right, moment of truth. Okay, that all seems to fit. <clears throat> Let me just make sure this is fully snapped in. It's going to put the visible screws in first. that are hidden under the bumpers. This was one that was repaired. I'm going to do this by hand the rest of the way. Feels good. Oh, I'm so happy. Hinge feels pretty good. <sighs> All right. We can boot. I'm going to plug the power in. And we'll connect to Wi-Fi. And install updates. So let's see, how does this computer feel now? I'm going to shut down and turn it on again and see how long it takes before the computer is usable. So we'll shut down. Twenty seconds to the desktop. 30 seconds to the desktop, 20 seconds to the login screen. Uh, let's just look at Task Manager and see how long before the disk performance or disk usage goes down to zero. So it's loading everything. You can see the RAM usage going up <clears throat> as it loads services and drivers. So there's the disk usage pretty much caught up. So we are one minute and eight seconds in. Let's just start like Word. Boom. Yes, this is. Uh, I don't want to make that decision. This computer is fixed. This is so much better than it was. I don't want to go into her uh, private data, but uh, no, very, very happy, very pleased. This has resurrected this computer, and I think she'll get another couple of years out of this. And I'm very pleased. So thanks for watching.